Welcome everyone to another episode of World Box. I'm going to probably do about one of these a day. At, at most. So yeah. Remember when we left off Great Orkton, or the Great Britain of the Orcs, got first reached 100 in population. Beating all the others in the quest for dominance. Nothing else has really happened except that the elves are pathetic. They're failing at everything they've, they've tried. Yeah, you can tell that there's a lot going to go on, and so we're going to set the time, which is already at 5, and there we go, let's start. That's, if you zoom in, you can hear them. Not much, though. I think if you, I bet Great Orkton, yeah, you can't hear much from Great Orkton, but we're going to rename the, 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 the uh, leader of their society by uh, doing this button and that button. Leader, okay, Rod. Uh, what should his name be? King. Of Orc. Ah, oh, what? What? Oh, looks like King of Orkton is starving to death. That's insane. Oh my gosh. Enter. Okay, we're safe. Oh. <laughs> okay, so the king of Orkton. Oh, the god. All of the orcs are starving. That's interesting. Well, we're gonna zoom out a little bit. Why are the orcs starving? They have crops. Well, I guess the orcs deserve some food. What is that lag? Okay. There you go. The orcs get food now. You can tell all the orcs are trying to survive, but they're not doing very well. Not good. Oh! What just happened there? Some society just fell apart. So yeah, you can tell that there's stuff that's going on. The orcs, the uh, dwarves over here are... I bet these are the second ones to reach 100 pop in their city, in their capital. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely the newest ones. I can't hear anything. Okay, or these human society. Can't hear much from it, but yeah. And you can tell that this society is doing pretty well. This dwarves in society. But there's a new society coming in the ring. Let's see where these elves should be built. Build their society. There's not many places left, but see this island? This is a good spot. I don't know. What? What was that? I want to click again just so I can hear those noises. Okay, let's give these guys some stones so they can actually uh, build a small society. And eventually get a mine. Let me just set that to one. There we go. Now, we'll set this to maximum so they can get a lot of... There we are. Okay, there we go. We'll be building a good society now. And I did some cool research. Okay, what do you guys think? Well, uh, that will... Uh, would be a good update to the game of World Box. Boats? I'm gonna ask it. Just write it down in the comments. Enjoy. Watching. Let me see, Great Orkton has built a society up here of Catapaz. And you got Ned Cause. And you got. I don't know how to say that. So, I'm excited to see this fight because this is gonna be a big fight between them. Let me give them a little bit of an incentive to. Fight. Let me get this right there, like that. Incentive! To expand to that territory. Mm hmm. Let's check our time. So long. And yeah, it's doing pretty well. Got your city of great. Oh, the Erda. Erodum. Erdum. Oh, what? These dwarves. Did you see that? They just tore down a mountain to make a road, and they're just like, Industry! Full on industry, you know? I'll see this. That, we need to give water to all of them. But to make this happen, we must. There we are. Beautiful. Beautiful. There we go. What's, uh. Um, hmm. Day, a natural disaster strikes. I'm going to choose one of these disasters. 
not at lava cloud because that's not natural. Not none of these acid things. So let's let's roll a two sided die, a six, four five sided die. Oh wait, there's a three disasters here. So we got one, two, three. So we're gonna get roll a six sided die. I got my six sided die right here, and we're gonna divide that by half. So this is one and two, three and four, and five and six. Oh, we got tornado. Okay, so the tornado is a uh, Six, five and six. So, oh, it's heading for straight towards Orkton. Oh no, it turned away. Oh, it's killing. Oh, Great Orkton is. Oh gosh, see that Orkton was annihilated. It was attacked. T War is at eighty four population. Let's see, uh, which this about the other civilization that's nearing the 109 Ilsink. They get a unique name now. And to me, I have to see the tutorial bear again. Cause every time you freaking type, you get a freaking tutorial bear! Okay. Mm, I'm trying to think of what I should name them. They got a lot of farms. Not in the cold. For Farmopolis. They are Farmopolis. Far, farm, oh, list. There you go. Oh my gosh, I didn't see the tutorial bear. What in the name of Sam Hill is this? Well, come to Farmopolis. I got some big farms over here. Every time they get it to 100, I give them a unique name. I don't know what I'm going to name Tibor. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe Mind History? Mind is. <clears throat> Industrial like I don't know Looks like the second elf society is like thriving over here it gives them some more stone so they can build better cities stone is right there. It's just Stone 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 there we go There we are there we go I'll give them some more resources. Oh, oh, okay. These guys are at 36. I don't know what we're gonna name them. Mm. Oh, these guys probably gonna make it. No, these civilization might make it. Thinking that their name might be Manifest Destiny or something. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh! Another civilization. Oh, and he starved to death. That's the thing with these orcs. They don't live long enough to build a new colony. Orkton. See that? See those people? Those people are gonna attack you. You might not be able to stop them. Okay, this is a. What kind of civilization is this? Human civ. Mmm. Erdum. Erdum's doing pretty well. You can tell that, uh. This. These guys are actually doing much better than I would have thought. I thought they would have gone extinct due to starvation, but they actually have some pretty nice houses. Let's actually check. Let's check. Ominidaha! I don't know how to say that. Ominidaha? Nita, yeah, they're gonna have to build their houses bigger in order to, uh, yeah. Oh, that last of that. Let's just check their resources, cause you know they have a thirty stone. They just need to upgrade these houses up here, right? These four houses, and then upgrade them a lot to build them bigger. I think whenever these guys, I think I'm gonna call them the Imperial Rome. Blue Romans. That's what they, they, their empire will be named to. Oh my gosh, there's a fight. Another human society breaking into the city of Isval. Listen to the battle. And yeah, that was a bad fight. Uh, whenever these reach 200, we'll rename. I don't know what we'll rename. Oh, okay, so these guys, Umava, are doing very well. Farmopolis. Doing okay. Tell that those cities are not gonna make um, Una and Yimnyfnyus Nyrschmit. Oh, Tibor has reached the second level. Okay, we're gonna dust uh, industrial. Hmm. No. Moria. You get that reference. You're a good human being, and. uh... You have to like and subscribe, because you understand that.
And due to that, see this button, see these things? They have to chest the trial. And then, then the Balrog just comes in. I don't want to do that. I'm not doing that to them. When they reach 200, I'll make... Okay, this is the rule. Every time a civilization reaches 200, I have to te give them a challenge, a fight. Something to prove their worth. Not a dragon, because dragons would, might prove their worth on another society on the other side of the planet. Right? Oh! Oh! The war with the dwarves versus the humans was fought, won by the dwarves. Oh. See these orcs? See those dwarves? Yay! Surprise. Get wrecked. Or deck wrecked. Hasn't been annihilated by Great Orkton. Look at Great Orkton. Why are they- why- what is it with this game and putting the ca farms around the fire? You might need to fix that. Okay. And then you can see Farmopolis over here is doing pretty well. <clears throat> I think Farmopolis might beat the orcs because of their intense food supplies. Yeah! Farmopolis has come ahead! I guess that's a good thing. Moria! Eh, they're doing okay. They're... Sending out some colonists. Ventured, they're adventure. Okay, let's check on these guys. Mm, so, Astiel. I know what I'm gonna name them when they reach level 200. They're only at 70, but I don't. It doesn't look like there's much room for them to expand, as you can tell. Like they have, maybe they could colonize a little bit down here, right? And probably colonize onto these major, on these the bigger islands, and build some smaller houses there. That's probably what's gonna happen with them. This city of Whatever that's called. There's a major fight going on over here. It's interesting. Isivork is probably going to win due to their higher population. Because that's how this game works. It's not about how much strategy you have. It's about the size. Oh my gosh. An orc settlement? And it's not from Great Orkton. Oh, dang it. Dun, dun. That's a fighting going on in the north. Great Orkton! Oh, God. Well, you know what? I'm going to save Great Orkton. Oh, wait. They got three people heading towards that? Great Orkton is not in a good position. Oh, Orkton has got to 50, 152. Farmopolis, 147. Oh, Orkton is back in the lead. The highest population. Farmopolis doesn't have really many um, colonies. That's why they're named Farmopolis. Morio, on the other hand, is actually... Doesn't have it only has like one colony, but it's not really a colony. It's more just like a second city, in their on the mainland. Oh my gosh, it's a dwarven war. Yeah, no, they are not gonna win. So I'm gonna do something to be like a quick buffer, and then earthquake. I guess. I guess I mean I don't know. And then you gonna add the mountain range. Just a little happy accident. The dwarves will have an advantage over here. The humans will have to fight in a much harder offensive. Much harder offensive to defeat these the, or, the dwarves in this part. There we go. Now we add, now to, this is how you design mountains. You just kind of like scroll on. And you get this smaller one texture. And then you freeze up. You just go up and down. Up and down. And then... Focus on certain parts that you definitely want frozen, and then you just go up and down to get little random frozen bits. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look how pretty it is. Oh! Segor, the second city of um, Moria. The third city of Moria. Reaching 132. Oh! Oh! Well, hey, 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 it's doing pretty good, right? Okay, I think we're almost done with this video. Yeah, we'll have to rename them. I think we're gonna name them. Medieval Hippies. Med. Evil. Hip. E's. I think that's two E's. Yeah, they're gonna have two E's. There we go. Medieval hippies. Mm -hmm. I can actually pronounce that. Well, everyone, I think this is a good place to stop. Too bad, Chippewa. Hee hoo hoo!
Didn't get to 100 this time. But, I mean, it was beaten by Farmopolis, Medieval Hippies, and Moria. We have a new empire. Which I will hide the name, but if you remember my Civcraft seasons, you'll know what I'm going to name them. Due to them being an oceanic people. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Well, everyone, hope you enjoyed this episode of World Box.